Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to build business credit in 24 hours. This is how you can get started doing this right now in 2021. We're gonna go through the first steps of doing this process. You can literally get everything done within 24 hours, and I'm gonna tell you how to do that in this video step-by-step. Step. I'm even gonna give you some starter business credit accounts that do not require a personal credit check or anything like that. You can get started building your business credit profile, like I said, within 24 hours. So if you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon to receive notifications on when I drop new videos. And also, a lot of people have asked about more business grants and grants for nonprofit organizations. I have something very special coming up in May for everyone who has a business who would like to get information on business grants on a regular basis. This is gonna be an exclusive membership that's gonna allow you to get access to tons and tons of business grants for all different types of businesses in all different states across the United States, even for nonprofit organizations as well. So definitely be subscribed so you can be notified when that membership will be available. It's gonna be a membership that's gonna be available on YouTube. So you'll be able to click the join button that's gonna appear right next to the subscribe button and you'll be able to get exclusive content that nobody else is gonna be able to see besides the members of this channel. All right, so let's get started. So in this video, we're gonna talk about two main topics, how to make sure your business is credible so that you could build up your business credit profile correctly. And then we're gonna talk about adding tier one accounts to build your business profile. And these are accounts that require no personal credit check and no personal guarantee. So really quickly, when it comes to business credibility, you have to make sure that your business is set up correctly. You have to make sure that you have a legal business entity that has been registered with the Secretary of State. So it's really simple. All you have to do is go down to your Secretary of State office and file for a business entity. You can get an LLC or whatever type of business entity that you would like to get that fits your business model. The most common is a LLC, which is a limited liability company. And that just means that you are not personally responsible for the business if something happens to it, if you were to get, or your business was to get sued, they wouldn't come after your personal belongings and assets. So you could literally do that within one day and get the paperwork the same day. Now it's gonna depend on how far you are from your Secretary of State. If you wanna make that drive, if you are not in your state's capital, if you wanna do it online, you can do it online through their Secretary of State website, whatever state that you live in, you can also do it online through their website. You don't have to go through LegalZoom or anything like that, but you can do it if you would like to, if you don't have the time. It is gonna take a little bit longer though. Those websites usually take up to 30 days to do that depending on what package that you buy from them. Their expedited package usually costs a couple of hundred dollars more on top of the filing fee. And the filing fee is what the state charges to actually set up your business entity. So after that, you're then going to get your EIN number from the IRS. You're gonna go on the IRS website and register for a EIN number. This is like a social security number, but it's for your business. So EIN stands for Employer Identification Number. Then after that, you need to get your business phone number, your business address, and your business checking account set up. You actually wanna get your business address set up before you register for your business with the Secretary of State, just so you can put that address on the application. And you can get a business address through websites like Regis. They sell virtual addresses and they have different price ranges. It's a virtual address, but it is at a physical office. So it's not like a address that is at a pack and ship place or a 
post office or something like that is actually a real business address. You just don't physically go to the office and have an office. Now with that, it is a cheaper price than having an actual office. They do allow you to rent out the office whenever you want to. You just pay like an hourly rate and they also may have daily rates and things like that. And there will be some links to the different websites and companies that I mentioned in this video. And don't worry, I will show you the different websites for building up the business credit here in just a second. So it's not gonna be all slides. Okay, so moving on, after you have set up everything to get credible, you then want to set up your tier one accounts. Sorry, this is a typo. This should say tier one and not tier two, but tier one is the entry level business credit accounts. There are vendor accounts that are easy to get that do not require any credit at all. You don't have to have prior business credit or personal credit. They don't check your personal credit at all. These type of accounts you can use to buy office supplies. Some accounts allow you to buy services for your business like website design and things like that. And you have to pay it back within a certain amount of time. Sometimes it's 15 days. It could be 30 days, 60 days, or 90 days. These type of accounts usually report after your first payment. So you're gonna get at least three of those accounts and you're gonna have them reporting to the different business credit reporting agencies such as Experian, Equifax, and Dun & Bradstreet. You wanna make sure that you have accounts on all three of those major business credit reporting agencies. And then you're gonna monitor your business credit profile using nav.com. And then you can move on to tier two accounts. So there is tier one, tier two, tier three, and tier four. Tier four is holy grail. That's where you get the big limits, but everything goes in steps. You gotta start at the bottom and work your way up. But you can literally get this done within four to six months. But to get started building your business credit, you really only need 24 hours. You can literally sign up for all of these accounts, everything online within a day. Except for the Secretary of State filing for your entity, you have to go up to the office if you wanna get that done within one day. Okay, so now I'm gonna give you three vendor accounts that you could start applying for to get business credit very quickly. So the first one is the Creative CEO. I've talked about this program before a few months ago. They offer products that help you grow your business. So they offer graphic design, printing services, office supplies, electronics, and also website design packages. They have a net 30 account that you can apply for with 0% interest. So you can apply for this account and then you can purchase something and pay it back within 30 days to have that reported to the business credit reporting agencies. The ones that they report to is Experian and Credit Save, I believe. Sorry, Credit Safe. That is also a business reporting agency. It's not the top three, but it's one of them. So what you'll do is you'll click the link that's gonna be down in the description. All of the links to these vendor accounts will be in the description box. And then you're going to click on apply. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill out this application and then you're gonna pay their annual fee. So they do have an annual fee. Some of these accounts have fees to start the account and some don't. Some you just have to purchase a certain amount of product to get it reported to your business credit profiles. So you'll fill this application out. Once you're done with that, um, you're going to pay for the fee and then you can start buying some of their products and services on this site. So the fee for this one is $69 and this is for them to do the monthly reporting to those two credit bureaus that I mentioned. Okay, so the next one is Uline. This one you can buy different products, again, for your business. They have all kinds of stuff here. This is one of the bigger vendor accounts, one of the most popular ones that businesses start off with to start building business credit. So they have all types of supplies for your business that you could purchase. So you'll just add something to your cart that you wanna purchase, and then you're gonna go through the process of checking out, and then they're gonna invoice you. And this one is net 30, I believe as well. And they report to Experian and DMB, which is Dun & Bradstreet. 
And also what I forgot to mention is that you also need to get a DMB number or a Dunn's number. That is what Dunn and Bradstreet uses for their reporting as well. Some accounts will ask for your Dunn's number. Okay, so the last one is supplyworks.com. This one is a Home Depot company. This one has a Net30 account that reports to Experian. They will ask you for your business entity documents, your EIN number, your DMB number, and a couple of other things. You can purchase products off of their website, similar to the other websites that we talked about. They do have a little bit different products on here. They got stuff for skincare, personal care, cleaning products, plumbing, food service, HVAC, lightning, or lighting, and appliances, and more. So you can go ahead and check this one out as well if you can find something on this website that will fit your business or that your business could use and purchase it so that you can get this account reporting to your business credit profile for Experian. So those are the three accounts that you can start with right now today. That's how you get started within 24 hours. You'll go through and create your entity if you do not have one. You'll make sure that you set up with nav.com so that you can monitor your business credit profile. And again, you can get all this done within 24 hours. If you're serious about getting business credit started for your business, this is how you start everything up. And then you can work your way up to those big accounts, those big lines of credit. You cannot do that without having accounts reporting to your business profile. You can do it if you want to use your personal credit, but a lot of people don't want to use their personal credit and they don't want to be personally liable for business credit when they could just have it all on their EIN and not link to their social security number. So if anything happens, they're not personally responsible. That's the best way to do it. And you can get big, big lines of credit without having to use your personal credit at all. This is the way to do it. This is the way to get it started. There is levels to this. If you want to learn more about this, click the first link in the description. It's going to take you to this page where you can register for the webinar. That's going to teach you how you can get big lines of credit using your EIN number, using your business only, not your personal credit at all whatsoever. The two will not be linked together at all. It's a way that you do this. And it starts with what I just showed you in this video, but there's more to it. So definitely check out this webinar and I will see you in the next video.